Hola my beauties welcome or welcome back to my channel this is the girl gurish kaur please take a moment to subscribe for what i'm doing today so today sugar cosmetics challenged me to do my makeup alongside having korea's most spicy ramen so i have to take a bite after doing each step of my makeup routine and oh lord it smelled of hot fire indeed i was somebody who thought that i have a really high spice tolerance this indeed changed that misconception about me this was super super hot you guys and with those lips on fire we're going to start with our makeup routines and the first product i'm going to use is the sugar illuminating spf it's in the variant pink trippin it's such a beautiful illuminating sunscreen that glow did take my mind off the heat for a moment very courageously indeed digging in for another bite before moving on to my eyes To prep my eyelids, here I'm using the Magic Wand Concealer. It's in the variant 15 Cappuccino. Whew, the most dreaded time, time for another bite. By this time, I was literally sweating. For the eyes, I chose the Sugar Dual Liquid Eyeshadow. Going ahead with the matte side first, creating a nice C shape, and then further going to blend it out. This one's actually pretty easy to blend out, and yeah, it just looks effortless and beautiful. And to torture myself again, in between my eyeshadow blending, going ahead with another bite, a rather big bite of that spice bomb. All right, and next I went ahead with the metallic side to do like a half cut crease. Oh boy, the metallic side, so so beautiful. Absolutely loved it. I'm not even lying when I say I had to mentally prepare myself before each bite, you guys. It was at this point when I was trying to convince myself, spice-wise, कुछ नहीं होता. It's a man-made concept. You're stronger than this, Gurish. But dying on the inside, literally dying. <laughs> no kidding, it got pretty intense. My lips were burning. I was perspiring. It was pretty, pretty hot. Regardlessly putting here my game face on, I went ahead with the Sugar Lash Mop mascara and plumping up those lashes. Further for the base makeup, I picked the Magic Wand concealer again, the same shade Cappuccino. It's actually a pretty good match. I know I do look a little clownish around my mouth, but bro, it was truly the ramen and not me. <laughs> And before blending in the concealer, I dared to go in with another bite. Ah, uh, it was not a good decision if I tell you. By this time, I was just trying to finish it up like as quickly as I could, but my spice tolerance just could not, and I really, really had to like give up on it. It took me a while to recharge and come back to blend in that concealer. I went ahead, had some coconut water, tried to cool down, and yeah, stay hydrated, kids. Further, just blending in all that concealer, the extra time the concealer was sitting on my face, it just enhanced the coverage a tad bit more, and I'm here for it. Then to set the face using the translucent compact powder and just lightly setting it all together. Doing my makeup after quitting the ramen felt so easy and so like it just came so naturally to me. Like with the ramen it indeed was a task me literally fighting for my life while doing each step you guys. Next I added some contour on the perimeters of my face. Further went ahead with some blush, picked a nice corally shade for my cheeks. Lastly topped off this piece of cake with some highlighter. Oh and for our spicy stained lips I went ahead with the lipping on the edge lip liner in the variant Tefeta Terracotta and aligned my lips well and smudged it a tad bit with my fingers and gave a really nice full lips effect. Well and that's the final look for today. I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. I literally curled my hair to match the ramen theme. That probably did not go as well, but I still hope you liked the attempt and it was a fun video for you to watch. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in my next one. Goodbye.